Welcome. Magic jar review. Got the baby here where the magic happens. We don't decide, the jar decides. So we're gonna find out who we're going with and where we're going. So one guest to one restaurant. Let's get it popping. See so mixing the jar, getting that baby ready. Let's see who we got. Okay, so da 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 da. Start with the guest first. Dolly, ha! <laughs> Dolly is long-time friend who actually follows me to most of the restaurants. That's that's like my go-to. Like if I need to go try out somewhere, or I want to get some af food quickly, or we need to. Yeah, man, she's like my foodie. Like, and then she makes new recipes sometimes. Gets me to try them. Give her feedback. Yeah. And we're gonna be going to. We gonna be going to. Where we going, boo? On this burgers. Stay tuned. So girl, you gotta give me that energy. Energy way. Middle part. Let me see Bay. Everybody touched by the Hennessy say. And it's sometimes chilled, but most times I want energy. You gotta move like right. enemies. Four, it's time right. Get it in. Right. I don't know. Like I'm gonna get the Kentucky 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 Kentucky
I was going. A baby. Huh? Huh? Is there a baby? <laughs> no, there's no baby this year. And no baby on the way. I rebuke that. <laughs> I rebuke it. No baby this year, please. I'm trying to get married. 2030, baby. 2030. Look at my calendar again. Just to make sure that we're in the Wait correct year. 2030. Somebody tell my WCW, wait on me, 2030, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> one day in it. <laughs> one day, I don't even prefer one day than, than here in 2030. Yeah, yeah. Well, one day, one day, one day. Is that a tribute? Street. Special. There we go. Thank you. Look at the size of these onions. Okay. Anything to put lane? Oh my goodness. Feel that. My apologies. Thank you. That Chipotle made is nice though. Yeah, proper. I remember I got it last time. Sometimes chilled, but most times I'm still in the mood. Girl, I got a phrase, cause I ain't got to say I'm in the mood. Have you got a man? Keep me in the loop. Midnight snack, I'm in the tube. It's the opposite of a in the loop. You know sometimes, don't you ever you think, like, do you ever like, thought, let me put meat in between bread? Bro, you see what the, I don't I even know how food was created. I don't know, sometimes. But whoever they are, salute, man. Like, somebody had to do all these funny man experiments for us to live our lives. That's why you need to try plantain and ice cream. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. What do you don't think about the shit? Huh? Mm. Bit, I had to put salt on them. I feel like they were a bit bland, but the uh, burger's nice. I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling them, man. You know, I, feel like, I feel like I had to add salt for it, so because when I first had them, it was literally no flavour. The burger nice? Mm-hmm. Do they taste like buffalo wings? They're a bit better. Huh? They're a bit better than buffalo wings. I don't like buffalo wings. Yeah, they're always tangy. Mm-hmm. I hate that tangy tasting. When I first started eating buffalo wings, I thought, okay, let me try it. Maybe it's this place and I'll try it somewhere else and I'll be like no it tastes the same so I just that's when I was like no I just don't like them wow what's up one burger gone you know what we do this is our one burger gone now it's time for the tribute baby I'm gonna tribute this to my WCW wherever you are thinking of you 2019 make him say your name on the cam okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the fact that they don't give you the option to say well done unless you actually obviously say so you're eating the correct burger basically yeah. instead of fighting with the bread and <laughs> don't show yourself and come here and ask for well done burger <laughs> I think I went on a date one of these one of these babes and you thought let me not embarrass myself yeah man she just gave me the look like I was, about to, I was about to order that well done. Well, <laughs> uh, people judge you, you know. But like, I can't lie, I'll judge too. Because yeah. steak does not taste nice, well done. That's why I hated steak. Because the, the first one I had was at TGI's. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? TGI is not where you should be eating steak. I had it there, I made a mistake. Whether it's well done, rare, blue. Oh, it's dead. Dead. That, those opinions and views did not come from me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the meat show. Yeah. Hey, my friend. How, how does that make sense? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found my favorite foodie on YouTube now. Oh, yeah. One a Vietnamese guy. Oh, yeah, the one. Oh, bro. No, he was yeah. eating Nigerian food, yeah. And me and Slims were just there watching, <laughs> waiting for his reaction. He had a polystyrene thing. He had yeah. jollof and chicken. He had oh. pounded yam and a gussie. He had tilapia. He's and bro, it. and he was waxing all of it. He was calling it fufu though. Nice. Yeah, he was calling it fufu. I don't even think it's fufu. He got it, he got it having a pounded jam and he dipped it in the gussy down. Did he like it? They put it back, I was waiting. I thought this. He was like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nah, cool, nah, cool beef stew is elite. It's nice, especially with yam. Oh. <laughs> Alright, when you making it fam? Wait. Run that rhythm. <laughs> What other stuff did you guys used to eat in uni? Like, what was the like your go-to? I never actually lived away in it. In uni, I was a mess. I had indomie in with me, duck, indomie with stew, indomie with chicken, indomie with every in type me. of meat. I can't lie, I still, I still bang indomie and stew. Indomie nah, and stew bangs. 
No, no, no. You see, after I did that run of end of the year, you were like, I'm tired. That, I didn't have it for like three years. Yeah, obviously, obviously, I had, I had like uni wives. What making you that jollof? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. They were doing uni set. You know that that uni fried rice, mac and cheese, wings. Ribs, wings, chicken. Yeah. Oh, and we used to have apple crumble all the time. Um, I feel like uni was my best life of eating as in making food for myself because it's like you don't have to make for loads of people so you can try out different foods. So I always used to be like trying out. I remember one time I wanted TGI, so instead of going, I just made like the tea, like the ribs. But you didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when I do the street food segment... Oh, you're going to go to those kind of people that make food as well? Yeah, I'm going to go to every... So basically, I'm going to be hollering at people who are personal chefs and be like, yo, just make man a, a massive platter and then, and then I'm going to review it. I'm just going to eat and review it. Yeah. I'm just going to have the camera in my face and I'm just going to be eating and talking through it. That's going to be the new segment. So I just want, I want to put... I just want, I want to put bare people on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Robin Hood. Oh, get the hell out. Robin Hood ass <laughs> niggas. <laughs> If they made like a like this kind of thing for guys, would you ever get? It has to be manly though. Well, uh, how manly like can a, it? Like a gun. Oh, I feel fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good burger. It was a good burger, I can't lie. Oh, <laughs> that, that was a strap line. <laughs> Even the camera was like, nah. <laughs> the camera was like, Listen, listen, hello. Huh? Don't worry, we're gonna split that drink. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna split that payment. <laughs> Alright. Hey, ooh, look at the leashes. <laughs> See, I give you a compliment, you're really alright. Let's go. Alright, run it. I think the burger was really nice. What burger did you get? Oh, I got the honest burger. Okay. We all do our ratings there. Oh, on the side. <laughs> You're so annoying, bruv. Ah, fine. <laughs> I got the honest burger. The burgers come out medium anyway, so it's just automatically nice. Um, the chips, mm, I wouldn't say the chips were all that. They were a bit bland. Had to add salt, and even with the salt, it's still a bit bland. Uh, the chipotle sauce. Elite. Once you dip the chips into the chipotle sauce, then you'll enjoy it. And um, what drink did I get again? Oh, that's it. That drink is nice as well. It's better than the actual um, peach tea. I would give it a 3.5. It would have been higher if the chips were nice and if the onion rings were nice as well. But yeah, if you like burgers, then. You recording? You recording? The light is not working for you. I think. This camera's racist. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not clear like hers. Oh, man. Hey, just run it, run it. So I'm about to be honest about this. Oh, here we go. So what am I saying? What did I get? I've got the tribute burger. I've got the chicken wings with the rosary chips and the lemon iced tea. The tribute burger, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to give that a four out of five because it's proper. The meat was medium. How you supposed to get it? And yeah, it just went down perfectly. Um, the chicken wings, wasn't really rating it, I'm not gonna lie. Probably gonna give those like a two out of five. Um, what else? Rosemary chips. Bit dry. <laughs> if I'm being honest. But, you know, it's okay, innit? Like, I, I took extra salt on it, although they said it was salty. So, you know, I'm gonna give that about three out of five. And I've got my lemon iced tea, which was the loveliest iced tea I've had in a long, long time. That was definitely. Five out of five for me. So all in all, I think I'll say three out of five for me. Three and a half. Be generous. Hey guys, welcome back. Magic Jar Review. Uh, we're coming back from Honest Burgers. Um, yeah, so let's let's kick it with a review. Yeah, so I had two burgers. Um, the first burger I had was the Monte Deli. Had that sauerkraut, that type of cabbage thing. A mental that I think is like a Swiss cheese. It was interesting. I don't really, I don't really have that in burgers. I kind of, I kind of enjoyed it actually. Um, mustard, burger sauce, and some pastrami. You know what? It actually came together very nice. Like the ensemble was sweet. Like it just worked. Um, the burger comes as medium as default. They don't even ask you, and that's that's how it's supposed to be. Like 
You lot eating well done burgers. This ain't your mum's barbecue, like. It's not no little thing, like. This is the pattern. It has to be medium, medium rare. That's how we eat it. That's, you know, that's how you get that, that juicy burger. The bun was soft as well, so that burger was lovely. But I think it's a limited edition, so I don't know if by the time you guys come and see this review, they'll have it available. Anyway, after that, I jumped onto the tribute. Um, I really enjoyed the tribute. And tribute was just a man's burger. <clears throat> you know what it is? It was like a a premium bacon cheeseburger. The tribute had the bacon, the beef, it had the American cheese, and when that American cheese melts, it's like a what? Uh, what would I say? If I was a silky milkiness to it, you know. Uh, it just I think American cheese is a bit on the salty side as well. But it worked. Um, that came with the French mustard. You can never go wrong with burger sauce as well. Burger sauce was that. Um, had lettuce and pickles. Usually I throw out the pickles, but that tangy vinegar, you know, addition to the burger, they all worked, you know, they all complemented each other. So yeah, man, that was a that was a good burger. The chips were bland, the onion rings were a bit of a disappointment. The wings, the wings were okay, they weren't amazing but they weren't bad because I, I don't i really have beef with um buffalo wings i don't know why they have to be so tangy sometimes so yeah i'm gonna give that three out of five we'll catch you on the next episode we don't decide the jar decides plantain pappy signing out <laughs>